first graders, this is Miss Burnell. I'm here to help you with math. Today we're going to do a word problem to find out how many kiddos were at a park. We're going to do it in kind of a fun way. So I'm going to read you the word problem. It says, there were seven children at the park. Then four more showed up. How many children were at the park all together? Now why do you think I have the words all together underlined? I have those words underlined because a lot of times when we see all together in a word problem, that means we have to put two numbers together. And when we put two numbers together, that is called adding. And we show adding with a plus sign, just like that. We are going to make a written equation where we have two numbers together and it's going to equal a number, but we're also going to make a picture equation where we show this in pictures. And I'm going to start with the pictures first. So first we're going to start with the numbers that we know. There were seven children at the park. How many children were at the park in the very beginning? You can answer out loud if you like. There were seven. There were seven children at the park. So let's go ahead and show seven children. I have some Lego people here. One, two, Three, these are Harry Potter characters. Four, five, I don't know who that is. Six, and <laughs> seven, there we go. So, so far we have seven friends at the park. Let's read it again just to make sure that we have the right number. There were seven children at the park, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven children at the park. Now let's see what we need to do. Then four more showed up. Hmm, what number could I circle? Four, that's right. Four more showed up. When we get more, we add to what we already have. So let's add four more to the seven that we already have. Let me scoot this up just a little bit. Let's add four more. One, two, three, four. Let me go ahead and take that knife away from you, Ron Weasley. There we go. Actually, I'm not sure that's wrong. All right, so we have four more that we added to our seven. How many children were at the park all together? So now we can add up all of these numbers and see how many are there all together. Now, I know that sometimes we wanna just count one, two, three, but that doesn't make sense. We know that we started with seven. So we're gonna count on from seven. So we're gonna say seven, I like to do it like this, seven, and then we're gonna count these. So watch me, seven eight, nine, 10, 11. Do you see what I did there? Let's do that one more time. We know this is seven, so we don't have to count them. Seven, so say seven, seven, and let's count four more. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Seven, and four more is 11. And that's our answer because it says, how many children were at the park all together? It's 11. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take what we just did in pictures and we're gonna write an equation. So let's start with the first number that we know. There were seven children at the park. What number should go here? Seven. That's right. Then four more showed up. We said with more, we add to what we already have. If I already have some ice cream and I want some more, we're gonna add more ice cream to what I already have. So we're gonna add. And adding looks like a plus sign. Just like that when we write an equation. Then four more showed up. We have our more, but let's put our four. Seven children, four more showed up. 
how many children were at the park altogether. When we say how many, we don't know that number. That's what we're trying to solve. So let's add those together. Remember, say seven, seven, and then add four more. Eight, nine, 10, 11. I added four more to seven. So let's do it again. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There's 11 children at the park. There's our answer. I hope this helped you today. We're gonna do a few more videos each week. So just keep on coming back to this channel and then you can see our videos and participate along with us. Parents, if you're watching, just let me know in the comments if there's something specific that you are looking for for your child and I will make a video to help you with that. Most of the time, all your child will need is paper and pencil and that's about it. But if they want to have some counting objects or something, then they can do that. All right. Have a lovely day. Bye.